So how can we add and remove pixels from the boundaries of a given object in an image? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to explain the morphological transformation concepts like erosion and dilation, which are used to add and remove pixels from the boundary of a given object in an image. I'm going to show you the code implementation using Python's OpenCV module. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your uh, love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. You can even share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, we now have the AI University Android app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks by enrolling to this course right here on the AI University website. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So let's move on. The morphological transformations are image based operations which are normally performed on binary images. It requires two inputs. One is our original image and second one is called as kernel, concept of which I already explained in the previous videos. You can click on the i button above to watch or get an understanding of that concept if in case you are jumping directly on this video. Kernel here decides the nature of the operation. The two basic morphological operators are erosion and dilation. We also have some of its variations such as opening and closing etc. So let's get an understanding of erosion using an example. So what is erosion? Well erosion is just like a soil erosion only. It erodes away the boundaries of a foreground object. Consider this image of L where white portion are number 1 which can also be treated as number 255 from OpenCV standard perspective. Now for simplicity's sake I kept it as 1 for white and the black background is represented by number 0. So what erosion does is it removes the pixel at the boundaries of an object in a given image. So if we remove the boundaries of this object L in the image then this is how object L will look like after removing the boundary. The letter L will become thin after erosion. In technical terms the kernel slides through the image as in 2D convolution. A pixel in the original image either 1 or 0 will be considered 1 only if all the pixel under the kernel is 1. Otherwise it is eroded or made to 0. Hence discarding the boundary depending on the size of the kernel. Dilation on the other hand is the opposite of erosion as it adds pixel to the boundaries of an object in the given image. As you can see that the boundary of letter L or object L in the image becomes more thick after dilation since pixels are added to the boundary of letter L. In technical terms a pixel element is 1 if at least one pixel under the kernel is 1 resulting in increasing the white region in the image or size of foreground object. So if you have an image from which you want to remove the noise then you can first apply erosion operation followed by dilation because erosion removes white noises but it also shrinks our object. So we dilate it thereby preserving the original image. It is also useful in joining broken parts of the object. If you remember I told in the beginning that morphological transformations has variations like opening closing. So opening is process where we apply erosion followed by dilation and closing is just the opposite where we apply dilation followed by erosion. Now let's implement erosion, dilation, opening and closing using OpenCV. So let's head over to our Jupyter Notebook. So as you can see here, we are first importing our familiar CV2 and NumPy modules. In the next line, we are reading our image using imread function, giving path of the image as an argument and storing it in a variable called as image data underscore original to show you the original image. In the next line, we are defining the kernel of 5x5 five five pixel by using numpy's once function. The data type of the kernel is unsigned int. 
and the next line we are making use of uh, open cv's erode function to apply erosion it takes several arguments like original image kernel and iteration as one iterations suggests how many times you want to run erosion process if you increase this number then it means that you are increasing the effect of the erosion then i am using i am show function to show you the eroded image in the next line we are making use of open cv's dilate function to apply dilation on an image object the arguments are similar to the ones defined in the erosion function then i am using i am show function to show you the dilated image in the next line i am using morphology x function to apply opening operation this function takes arguments like input image morph open which signifies opening operation to be applied and the kernel which we defined above then i am showcasing the uh, image output after we applied opening operation in the next set of lines i am using morphology x function to apply closing operation this function takes arguments like input image morph close and kernel then i am showcasing the image output after we applied closing operation so let me run this cell now so when i run this cell you can see that this is our original image this is our image after we applied erosion you might be uh, wondering like why the text black text is thick here when it applied erosion i will be uh, explaining that in a little while then this is the image after we applied a dilation again after applying dilation you might be wondering why the text is black text is thick uh, thin here i will be explaining it in a short while uh, so this is the text after we applied opening operation and this is the text after we applied closing operation now most of you might be confused here that why the text in the eroded image appeared thick when it actually removes uh, pixels from the boundary and why the text for the dilated image appeared thin when it actually adds pixel to the boundary of the object well this is because open cv treated white portion as an object itself rather than treating black text as object in the image so when we are applying erosion operation it is actually removing the white pixels from the boundary of black text thereby giving a notion of black text getting thick on the contrary in case of dilation operation it is actually adding the white pixels on the boundary of black text thereby giving a notion of black text getting thin so if you are learning this concept for the first time then you may get confused by looking at the output here so folks this is it for this video and in the next upcoming video i will cover another important topic of the computer vision using open cv series here is today's question state true or false if you increase the number of iterations in the erode function then it means you are increasing the effect of erosion please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you